I'm Anne-Marie Trevelyan. I'm the Secretary of State for the Department of International Development. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So will you tell us why you are on the island? It's been a real pleasure to come across to the island today because I've been visiting Micron Limited, an amazing company uh, that makes spraying equipment that helps uh, in the tackling against the locust plagues that are rampaging across East Africa and Pakistan. And so from the Isle of Wight comes technology which is saving the crops and therefore uh, the lives of countless communities across Africa. It's really exciting to see that in action. Brilliant. And um, how many other, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, how many um, other places have you been to that you've seen things like this um, recently? So sadly, because of uh, COVID, uh, of course, we haven't been able to get out and about much. So it's all the more uh, exciting to have been able to come to the Isle of Wight today uh, to see Micron's work in action and to hear directly from them how UK taxpayers' money, which we invest in uh, the UN organisation, the FAO, is then uh, making sure that UK technology is one of the ones being used to help these communities in East Africa. So it's all the more exciting for me that I've been able to uh, get out and meet, through with social distancing, of course, uh, these amazing, amazing people making this fantastic kit. And what's the feedback from the, been like from the people who work there and making the kit throughout the pandemic and things like that? So it's been wonderful to hear exactly as you say that actually they've never stopped working. Their orders have gone through the roof because, of course, this locust plague is uh, swarming and causing enormous bother. So what they make here is critically important. Uh, and the workforce have just dug in and worked incredibly hard to make sure they can meet their orders, which is wonderful. That's the kind of, you know, this is kind of an international global key worker uh, focus, not just looking after you know, our own friends and neighbours, but making sure that with the kit that they're producing here, uh, that families uh, across East Africa will be uh, protected from famine. And what can other um, businesses like this one learn from the one that's going on on the island? So I think the wonderful thing that we're seeing here is it's a, a te UK technology that is being used globally, quietly, quietly, UK research and development uh, can come up with radical solutions that can help uh, tackle some of the world's most intractable problems. The locust plague is as, you know, as old as the Bible. Uh, and these technologies uh, are so often British. And the great challenge is to make sure that we maximize it and we invest in our British companies so that they can help deliver the solutions that genuinely are transformative for those developing countries we're looking to support. And obviously, as we are thinking of cutting our foreign aid, we are cutting our foreign aid to these countries. Is that making businesses like this even more important? So the challenge we've had this year is because of the uh, drop in uh, the size of the economy and the 0.7% being predicated on the size of the economy, there's a reduction uh, in the amount that the UK government can spend uh, on international development spending and UK aid. Uh, but we focus absolutely uh, in when we've had to prioritise on those life-saving uh, projects, on the humanitarian projects, on supporting the bottom billion. So it's been a really clear focus that those are the parts of our spending that we want to keep doing. So companies like Micron on the Isle of Wight are absolutely pivotal to helping us deliver that. Brilliant. And have you ever been to the island before? I have been to the island before. My <laughs> granny used to bring me here when I was a child. I remember going to Osborne House and being amazed by some of the toys. Um, but I haven't been back for a while, so it's a, it's a treat and a pleasure to be here on such a lovely sunny day. Oh, it's always so lovely here. And um, Anne-Marie, is there anything else you'd like to add that you think is important? No, that, no, I think that's great. Thank you, Aina.